It was not you who chose me, says the Lord, but I chose you and appointed you to go and to bear fruit, fruit that will last. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We celebrate today the feast of St. Matthias, who was appointed to replace Judas. We also pray in a very special way for Pratip Baskaran and Lorraine Stephanie, who celebrate the sacrament of matrimony this morning. We bring them before the altar of the Lord. And so to prepare our hearts and minds to celebrate the Eucharist, we acknowledge that we are dependent on the Lord in all moments and seek His mercy. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, you who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant through his intercession that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. One day, Peter stood up to speak to the brothers. There were about 120 persons in the congregation. Brothers, the passage of Scripture has to be fulfilled in which the Holy Spirit, speaking through David, foretells the fate of Judas who offered himself as a guide to the man who arrested Jesus. After having been one of our number and actually sharing this ministry of ours. Now, in the book of Psalms, 
it says that his camp be reduced to ruin, that there be no one to live in it. And again, let someone else take his office. We must therefore choose someone who has been with us the whole time, that the Lord Jesus was traveling around with us, someone who was with us right from the time when Jesus was baptizing until the day when he was taken up from us. And he can act with us as a witness to his resurrection. Having nominated two candidates, Joseph, known as Basabas, whose surname was Justus, and Matthias, they prayed, Lord, you can read everyone's heart. Show us, therefore, which of these two you have chosen to take over this ministry and apostolate, which Judas abandoned to go to his proper place. They then drew lots for them, and as the lot fell to Matthias, he was listed as one of the twelve apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord sets his com the Lord sets him in the company of the princes in of his people. The Lord sets him in the company of the princes of his people. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed, both now and forever. The Lord sets him in the company of the princes of his people. From the rising of the sun to its setting, Praise be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens, his glory. The Lord sets him in the company of the princes of his people. Who is like the Lord our God, who has risen on high to his throne, yet stoops from the heights to look down, to look down upon the heaven and earth, the Lord sets him in the company of the princes of his people. From the dust he lifts up the lowly. From the dung heap he raises the poor to set him in the company of princes. Yes, with the princes of his people. The Lord sets him in the company of the princes of his people. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I choose you from the world to go out and to bear fruit, fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my own joy may be in you and your joy be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I shall not call you servants anymore. 
because a servant does not know his father's business. I call you friends, because I have made known to you everything I've learned from my father. You did not choose me. No, I chose you. And I commissioned you to go out and to bear fruit, fruit that will last. And then the Father will give you anything you ask him in my name. What I command you is to love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We celebrate today the feast of St. Matthias. Very little is known about Matthias. Not much is written about his life or his mission. The only story that we have is from the Acts of the Apostles. One who is chosen, one who is appointed to replace Judas of Iscariot. The seat was vacant, was left empty. And so they decided it was time to replace one of the twelve. You did not choose me, I chose you. That is the verb, the very verb or word that you will find in both the readings today. To choose, to be chosen. I find myself when I looked at the text this morning and I... It's very important to understand that you may have the human judgment. You may perceive things in the human mind. But if you're not able to see God at work in it, you will fall. You will find yourself not in line with the plans of God. They had the human judgment. They had 120. They sat down. They began to discern. They began to choose. And it narrowed down to two. Barsabas, surnamed Justice, and Matthias, human judgment. But they said it's important for us to ask the Lord, not to tell us, but to show us. It's repeated in the text. Lord, show us what you want. Sometimes in elections, we already know who we want. And sometimes we plant who we want to get. You know, it's sad. Because we have our own plans and not God's plan. And it's important how they look at this whole experience and they said, Lord, show us your, your ways. And they didn't pray alone. They prayed as a community. All of them prayed. And they prayed and the Lord showed them who it was to be appointed. And it fell onto Matthias. And Matthias in Hebrew means a gift from God. That's the word Matthias means. A gift from God. I like the words of St. Augustine. Pray as if everything depended on God and work as if everything depended on you. Pray as everything dependent on God and work as everything dependent on you. St. Augustine. You do your part, God will see the bigger picture. You did not choose me, I chose you. Let us ask the Lord the grace today as we commemorate and celebrate the feast of St. Matthias, a gift from God. That we begin to see God at work and ultimately to bear fruit and to bear fruit in abundance.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to give us we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to give us we have this wine to offer. Through the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias, and through them to strengthen us by the power of your grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift it up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and saints and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with the host and power of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving you thanks, Father, he broke it. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Matthias, St. Faustina, and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, to praise and to glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. This is my commandment, love one another, as I have loved you, says the Lord. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with the divine gifts and true blessed Matthias intercession. For us, graciously admit us to share in the lot of the saints in light. True Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to, to God. Prayer for the sinner. We stand, we stand before, before you, Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path nor no partiality influence our actions. Let, Let us find in you our, our unity, unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. Have a blessed weekend and stay safe. Same to you, Father. Father.